Carnelli Jones, the rookie who drives like a veteran, is leading the pack coming into the front stretch. There's trouble on the main straightaway. John Davis spins and comes to a stop in front of 160 mile an hour traffic. The crowd shouts a warning, sensing that more trouble is coming as Davis, a rookie, is slow leaving his car. He seems stunned and bewildered. Look out! Another rookie, A.J. Shepard, is out of control. Five cars tangle and come to a halt at the end of the straightaway. But no one is injured. Slow motion cameras saw the accident in greater detail. Davis's spin was caused by a broken oil tank on his car, which sprayed his wheels with oil. Davis was skidding on ice for hundreds of yards in his wild ride, desperately attempting to bring his car under control. One car had already passed the stall number 83 on the inside. But when Davis walked across that narrow corridor, Shepard tried to change direction and lost control. Shepard hit the wall and then slammed into Bill Cheeseberg's car. With the track blocked, another car, driven by Roger McCluskey, spun out. Brilliant driving by Johnny Boyd took him around trouble. But at that moment, Jack Turner, attempting to avoid the pileup, flipped. Turner landed right side up. Lloyd Ruby's car coasted slowly around the disabled machines toward the infield, where his engine was later restarted. In a few moments, all five drivers were out of their cars and safely in the pits, ending one of the most spectacular chain reactions in Indianapolis history.